look at that! It's a little wild herd of Mareeps, and they have got a Fletchling with them. I bet that Fletching would actually spend a little bit of time trying to steal... Well, I actually, I was gonna say trying to steal some of their wool so that they could go ahead and, like, line a nest with it. But that might be a little bit, like, static electricity shocky, so maybe not. But, you know, we could, we could... Ooh! Ooh, Pokeball! Ooh, more Pokeballs! <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, hang on a second, friends. We seem to have, like... Ooh, that's the TM low kick. What the heck? Somebody just, like, put up a bunch of Easter eggy Pokeballs everywhere. And here's an idea, friends. I have been thinking maybe Bombardier, the item drop Pokemon, is the one scattering everything everywhere. I mean, if a gigantic crane just ran up to you and stole your stuff, you'd probably leave it be, right? And then if it flew off with it and dropped it somewhere else, well, that would explain why those items scattered literally all over the world. <sighs> But yes, my friend, oh, I mean, I mean, come on, look, there's so many things here. <laughs> but yes, my friends, welcome back to our Eevee expedition, the fantastic field trip with uh, none other than your favorite Pokemon biologist, Professor Siri herself. I know I'm your favorite, right? And um, we are back. We are back, and I learned something very important. Uh, Mariadon is probably rolling his eyes again. Yes, I see that, Mariadon. Um, but it turns out you cannot go from the Megazoa South section up to this part of South Province 4 because it turns out that this entire cliffside just blocks everything off, probably to keep a whole bunch of the younger trainers safe and away from what might be higher level areas. But lucky for us, we already had visited South Province Area 2 and we had, uh, you know, signed up for their, their Poke Station. Huh. I just found the Pokemon League. Sorry, distractible, distractible, I know. But we signed up for their transportation system, and now we are going to carry on trying to figure out how the best way to get to... Wow! Wow! Is it the top of that mountain? Because it's really pretty. I don't think I've gone over there yet. And there's a couple Terra Pokemon in their Terra Caverns. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to steal this, going to steal this. There's a couple more Terra Pokemon or Terra Raid spots over there. I just want to make sure that where we're headed... Okay, there's a bunch of ruins, and we kind of want to head... I think we want to head for those ruins. Okay, so I think it should be good. Right on! Thank you! All right. Nobody was hurt. And... Ooh, a person berry! And we can actually go ahead, pass up all of these adorable little small of, tag a couple of these wonderful dens. We're just going to take notes on what happens to be in here, friends. Is this an ice-type cumbi? Sorry. I know I said we were just going to take notes, but how could you pass that up? Can you imagine like an ice bee? Oh, that's so cool. Able to withstand the frozen temperatures, blending together unexpected terra types with unexpected like type types. That's just too exciting. I have to see what is going to be happening here. Oh, you glorious shiny glitter. I would name this one glitter actually. Well, maybe crystallize like there's just a lot going on here what would i name it come be oh come these i mean i would be intimidated by a growlith as well come because come on let's be real here actually i wonder can i use u-turn i want to see if i can swap out pokemon okay u-turn actually actually was pretty good that's interesting i actually cannot go ahead and swap out with other pokemon See, friends, I knew that this was going to provide us with some absolutely fantastic and very important data on what we were doing. Oh, it's so pretty. On what we were doing here in this raid den. Alright, let's go ahead and catch it. I really need to get more Pokeballs. <laughs> oh, I'm such a sucker for these terror types now. I just feel like there is so much mystery behind their different types. Why is this Cumbi Ice type? Does that mean that perhaps it only collects pollen from flowers that grow in the most remote forest up in the top of the mountains? That just, that idea is so enchanting to me. Oh, wow. I kind of want to name it Ice Bee. Oh, Ice Bee would be such a good name for it. All right, and we got some Cumbi Honey and 
berries and tiny mushrooms. I really do appreciate being able to collect that many berries. I'm having a more of a feeling that if I can't garden them, that's how you end up farming berries. Not that I use them. I really should get my squivet back out. All right. Cumbi, the tiny bee Pokemon. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar to <laughs> from flowers to please Vespa Queen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it, it's a boy. Ice bee? Does that still work? I mean, I think ice bee, Cumbi ice. <gasps> okay, forgive me friends, but let's see. Icy. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you actually spell like the, the like, horribly over sugared drink the icy um but it happens to be one of chips fa chips's favorite things before we tried to give up sugar all right so let me see if i jump down here to poke that fire den and there's a terra type pokemon over there can we get up i think we can get up let me let me look real careful at the map <gasps> no we wouldn't be able to i was so glad it wait wait okay Okay, we could come back up and scooch around. So I have been going the wrong direction trying to use like this shortcut. What we actually need to do is come down the Mesagoa gate. I see, I see. All right, well, I'm a little curious about who's down there. And you know what, friends? This is our thrill trip. This is our time to really be together, to really experience what it is like working with all manner of different types of Pokemon. Uh, also, Champion, can you actually use water type attack yet? No, not yet. Champion, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you swap off just for a second, <laughs> my dear. And I need to find a water type that can actually... Baguette, Baguette, you have you have been so patient, Baguette. And you've got some water gun abilities. So, Baguette, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have you swap with Champion for just a second. And... There we go. I'm sure Baguette will be able to handle this. But see, my friends, this is what it's all about. The unexpected side quests that we take on while we are Pokemon biologists actually out in the field. Uh, so let's do this. And then we'll turn around and it will just help us to, what, what were you? Oh, it's a Squivet. Oh, how I love them. Oh my gosh. Is that a Pikachu? Is this a fire tentacle? What? Is it? What? The only way I could imagine a tentacle having fire ability is if it, like, could shoot, like, stinging, burning fire. Um, maybe something we called fire. Kind of like, oh my gosh. I don't think you're a tentacle. Or maybe you are, like, th th this version of a tentacle. What on earth? <gasps> Toad School? Is this a mushroom Pokemon? You have all of my attention. I am completely and utterly here for this. Uh, it's super effective. I thought, w what do you mean super effective? Water gun? Okay, now it's starting to show up. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> oh no, stun spore! Hang in there, Baguette, you've got this! Ah, I don't think I can use... Oh no! So it may be unable to move. Yeah, you can't actually use any items, I don't think. I'll double check cheer next time. Oh my gosh, if this is gonna be like a mushroom type... Like, Pokemon. I love mushrooms. This is a fiery mushroom! That makes some amount of sense. Wouldn't it be... Oh, Baguette, Baguette! Let's go ahead and let you terrestrialize, my dear. Because if this is, like, a, like, fungus can glow, and it maybe it could give off spores that when they react to oxygen can cause fires. But I wonder, oh, look at you, look beautiful. I wonder if the toad schools are actually immune to fire then. Or maybe when they release the spores, they also happen to be covered by some kind of, like, protective gel. <gasps> You rude thing! Okay, you're definitely a part plant type, I think. Because you use Mega Drain. At least that's my guess. Alright, Baguette, you're gonna have to just do your best, my dear. This is actually a little bit of a harder battle than I thought it would be, but Baguette is also a little lower level than some of our other Pokemon. No, Baguette, you're down! 
<laughs> Hang in there, dear. I feel like she's really struggled, so we might try to give her some, like, special, um, training? Because I really feel like Bonfire, our Flareon, and Cranston, our wonderful Bombardier, actually, even though they're not certain about me, because I happen to be, like, the new kid on the block, I don't have any, any badges that make them feel like they have a lot of comfort. Oh, there we go! With what we can accomplish. All right, get in the little Pokeball, my friend. So even though Bonfire or Flareon and Cranston or Bombardier, who are both up around level 40, are double the levels of any of our other Pokemon so far, I think that they might actually respect me a little bit, but... I mean, you would really want to know that the person that you were trying to bond your entire life with for forever was really going to be up to the task. I think they're both just a little nervous about, can I really trust you? Will we really be family forever? And I will prove to them that we will be family forever by growing just like they are. That makes a lot of sense. No wonder Pokemon would want you to get the badges. They are working so hard for you to try to provide some sort of, of wonderful guidance through all of the growth that they really force themselves through. So of course it needs to be that you're also trying to grow. That's just a way to show your respect and love for them. That makes so much sense now. <clears throat> Although it looks like Tentacool, Toad School is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Oh my gosh, I really hope this guy evolves into something cool. Let's look at your, your little summary. Three different types here, ground, grass, and fire. That's kind of amazing. It is a male who knows Mega Drain, Stun Spore, Mud Slap, and Mud Shot. And it has Mycelium Might. This Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves, but these moves will be unimpeded by the agility of the target. Interesting. Oh, it's gentle and vain by nature. Oh, so maybe it doesn't really like battling, but it does love kind of like preening in the sun. And let's see, I mean, so it's sun, grass, and fire, sun, ground, ugh, excuse me. It is grass, ground, and fire type. So I could see it really loving to lay or sit in the sun, maybe with a lot of really beautiful plants around it and kind of just feel like it's the prettiest thing there. I could see that happening. I bet these, these toad schools are a little bit, oh, I think they evolve, are a little touch egotistical, but not in a bad way. Also, where's that Pikachu? Dang it! I know I saw a Pikachu! I should have run for it before. I absolutely should have run for it. There's a little Bonsley. Before we went. It's a Pichu! Pichu! Okay, okay, all right, all right. Let's go ahead. Jademint. Whoops, Jademint. <laughs> no, Jademint. Jademint, all right, come here. We're gonna go ahead and. Actually, I wonder if could Small have helped out with this? All right, we're gonna swap off. Baguette, we're gonna swap you. Oh, the Pichu's coming up to me. It's coming up to me, you guys. How cute is that? But yeah, I promise that Bonfire will definitely want to show how he is a great protector of younger, smaller Pokemon. He's very, like, happy that we are Eevee, like, researchers trying to research everything about Eevee. And I bet he would even be protective of Jim, even though he would probably try to return all of the gemstones and treasures that she steals. I actually think Cranston would totally be on board with stealing some of those things uh, with Jim or even from Jim. <laughs> Alright, Pichu, where'd you go? Gosh darn it! Oh wait, no, it's here! Hi! Okay, I don't want to run over you. And... Tap! Little tap! Oh, you're so tiny! Oh, it's so oh, it's just level 8! Come on, little guy! I don't want to have to, like... I don't want to have to... even smack you with, like, a single leaf. It just wanted to come and join our family! Oh, I want to name it after, like, some sort of really cute, like, baked food. I don't know why. It just makes me think that Pichu would appreciate being able to hang out with our other tiny mouse, like, Pokemon! Yes! We'll have to raise them together! All right. Despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should prepare to be on the receiving end of its electric jolts. Got it. No name for now. We're gonna go ahead and send you the box. Jeez! 
We don't even have a single badge yet. We haven't even found a single Terra Pokemon. And already, friends, we are filling out so much of our Pokedex. All right, let's go collect this item. Hey, Squivets. And then we're going to turn around. Oh, good, it's a Pokedoll. And I want to see... Who is this? Hello? Is that a... <gasps> it's a Terra Meowth! I know we already have a Meowth, but I think that would be really exciting. Um, hello, buddy. I think that you might actually be a little bit of a hard battle, but let me go ahead and try to... All right, sorry, friends. Look, if we're going to be spending some time with an extremely glowy, shiny Meowth, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Then I want to go ahead and make sure that we're able to get some really cute pictures. All right, ready? Oh, it's a Pikachu! <laughs> All right, Pikachu, look, I've got to go ahead and work with this Terra Meowth. I just think it's a really cool example of a Terra Pokemon. Look at those cute balloons! Wait, why balloons? That's not the normal type thing, right? Whoa, Meowth! Oh, you're so glittery because of, like, where we're at. Not very effective, not very effective, but Bite would be effective. Oh, Meowth is just little... Okay, we're not going to terrestrialize. There. And we're going to try to catch Meowth from here. Hang in there, friend. I wonder if you'd have a different Terra type than the Meowth we already... It's a girl, too! Than the Meowth we already have. Being out in the field. So many new discoveries! Okay, so let's investigate her Terra type. Jim does actually have... A Meowth that she's already good friends with. What is your summary, my dear? Flying! A Meowth who wants to fly! That's... That's surely not what the other Meowth had, right? Surely not. I'm pretty sure that our other Meowth... Does not fly. Is not a flying cat. Let's see. Where is, where is our Meowth? Okay, Jim. Jim. Where has your, your, like, buddy gone? Oh, there you are! It's Copper! Yeah, Copper is much higher level. And he's normal, normal type! He is not a flying Meowth! Oh my gosh. A cat who dreams of flying. I kind of want to name it Sophie after Hell's Moving Castle for some reason. <laughs> there we go! All right, friends. You know what? I think that that was an excellent expedition into the field. Have we made it to our EV research point? No, no, not yet. But we have been able to explore another bit of meadows. I kind of want to name this meadow like something special. Oh, I need more of your guys' names for what we could name all these different areas. And then I might actually like print off a map of, <laughs> of our world and like name it what you guys helped me really discover. Because I think that would be fun. You're all very creative. I know that we don't have a Pikachu, but we do have a Pichu, so I'm just gonna kind of stick with that. You're all so creative and so insightful, and you know so much about the worlds that we're traveling through that I think... Hello, little dog. Okay, that would actually go under. So I actually have to turn around, sorry. <laughs> sorry, little dog. That I know that you guys are going to have some wonderful suggestions. Uh, until then, though, I will try to work on actually turning this Mariah Dawn school bus around and making it to where we're supposed to be for our next field research expedition. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our delightful discoveries. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands, I almost ran over a diglet. Whoops. Let's stick to the road. <laughs> and literally thousands of adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly... Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!